These are the solar panels. Most of those ones with the smaller cells were made in 1980 and they're still working. Okay, they're still cranking out power? Mm -hmm. Not now, as much as they did, but so many things that uh, were electronic from the 1980s, you know, have long become junk. Yeah. Solar panels almost never because junk because they will all they, they might not have as much power but they'll still charge batteries do different things okay so those ones with the yellow frames are the older ones yes okay so we are now standing inside the pit or the hole that you dug out to build your house to build your rammed earth house yeah i got a backhoe and i just started digging and piling it up on each side until I got down to bedrock and couldn't dig anymore, and then I just sort of went sideways. Okay. And this, uh, this was designed to, since you had a hole in the ground, yeah, that you try to be synergistic of using one thing to do multiple purposes. So this was not only the source of uh, the house. earth building material, but it was. Uh, a pond to uh, harvest water. This, we didn't even have that term but when I was doing this, but I thought desert, you know, a lot of times people, villages will dig swales and yeah. put up water storage earthworks. And this was a low spot next to the well. And we, over the years, this will completely fill with water and it's soaked down and it's raised the water table and it's softened the water. Okay, and then what does it do? Uh, so this is not, um, what do you use this water for? You, do you use it for drinking or just yeah. for uh, it goes down into of... the ground and the ground filters it. Yeah. And then it comes out the well. And that's, that's how uh, cities often do that. They'll have a percolation pond, then yeah. they'll have a well. Yeah. Wastewater plants, their final treatment will be putting it in ponds, it soaks down a few hundred feet. Yeah. And then they pump it back out using all of this earth to filter it. Okay. So you don't necessarily drink the water when it fills up the pond here. You no, let no, it filter no. into your yes. well and then pump it back out of the well. Yes. So you're utilizing uh, nature to filter the water for mm -hmm. you. Okay. Now, do you refilter that water once it gets inside your house? I don't uh, usually do it if we had anyone who is susceptible uh, like an, an infant. Okay. You know, newborn infants can't uh, digest uh, nitrates. Okay. So it has a little bit of nitrates in it, so I've got to reverse osmosis if we needed it. Okay. But other than that, you don't worry about like bacteria or no, anything no, like that no, in the, the water? The county health has checked it a number of times and uh, all they found was a low level of nitrates. And then I noticed that there's um um, a lot of animal tracks coming down here. So when the pond fills up, I take it there's a lot of animals that come yeah. in here for the water. Also, get a lot of desert toads, and then we'll get a lot of uh, little birds after the desert toads. But okay, okay. And you can see by the how much water's been in here that it's completely filled this entire area. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got a garden there. That garden. Uh, we sort of haven't been doing much with that was our first garden but is it, that your water well system that's one of them okay it's a secondary one so i can have a simple a backup water well okay since water is so vital okay and but this is my primary well okay it's right next to your uh energy system right there all right keep it close all right hey uh if you guys like this type of video please uh give us a thumbs up on it and if you don't like it give me a thumbs down so that i'll know uh not to waste time making more of these videos and um, if you can, you know, uh, subscribe to the uh, channel and I'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video with Gerald here.